hello guys so in this video we are going to create this glow effect using affinity photo so let's get started first open affinity photo then duplicate the source image by pressing ctrl j now choose the selection brush tool and select the flower use square bracket keys to increase and decrease your brush size Hold the ALT key while selecting to deselect. Now click on refine button. Add a smooth of 1 pixel. and feather of 1 pixel then click on apply after that press ctrl j to create a new layer with the selection Now remove the lower part of the flower from the selection. With the upper part selected, again press Ctrl J to create a new layer. Now press Ctrl D to deselect everything. With the top layer selected, press Ctrl plus G to create a group. Rename this group to Glow. Then expand the group. First, change the blend mode of the group from pass through to normal. Then go inside the group, select this background layer inside the group, then change its blend mode to add. Then duplicate this layer. Now apply live filter. Live Gaussian blur to this layer. Add a radius of 10 pixel and close this panel. Rename it to 10 pixel. Again press Ctrl J, change the blur to 50 pixel. Again duplicate it, change the blur to 100 pixel. Again duplicate it. Change the blur to 
300 pixel I can duplicate it and change the blur to 500 pixel then rename these layers according 500 pixel this one is 300 pixel this one is 100 pixel this one is 50 pixel after that you can see the flower color is red but due to this blur effects it becomes pink and glowing so we have to change it back to the red color to do this we have to apply a recolor adjustment to this group so click on the adjustment button and click on recolor now change the color to red and increase the lightness a little bit like 10% now close this panel now let's add some glow to the lower part of this flower to do this select this recolor adjustment and press ctrl j to duplicate it now drag it to the background layer the layer where the full flower is selected and drop it here now expand that layer and double click on the recolor adjustment and change the color to greenish yellow Now close this panel. Now we have to decrease the brightness of the background so that it looks like a night picture and the glow effect would be visible properly. To do that select the background layer and click on adjustment and choose the brightness and contrast adjustment here decrease the brightness to minus 100% and increase the contrast to 25% now close this panel I am going to decrease the opacity of this lower part of the flower. It looks a little bit odd. So decrease the opacity to like 70%. Okay. If the flower is glowing red, then the surrounding should be in red color. To do that, we have to apply lens filter to this background layer. So click on adjustment and click lens filter. Change the filter color from orange to the flower color.
increase the optical density to 100% now close this lens filter panel and drag this lens filter adjustment inside the background layer like this After this, we need the glow effect, we need the reflection of this glow effect in the surrounding area. To do that, let's create a new fill layer above this brightness layer. New fill layer. By default, the color of the fill layer is white. Now change it to red color So the flower color maybe. The flower color will be awesome After that Near the blend mode You can see it settings icon it is not settings icon it is the blend ranges icon in affinity photo now click on this icon you can see two graph here one is source layer ranges another is underlying composition ranges to get our desired blend effect we need to play with this underlying composition ranges so I will drag this left node to down like this ok it looks awesome now drag this right node to the left We select this linear and I will add a new node here and drag it downwards a little bit like this. Okay. After that we can see the glow effect is good but the flower is not visible properly. To make it visible properly, now decrease this blur effects or change its opacity from 100% to like 50-60%. Change its opacity to 60%. It's to 60%, 35%. Now the flower is a little bit more clear. Decrease the opacity of this group to 90%. Okay. To 50%. If the flower is glowing here, the lights should not be spreading over that much. The lights will be surrounding the flower. Not it's not a sun, it's a flower and it's glowing. So the lights will be surrounding the flower, not the full area. Adjust this. Create a rectangle 
over the image change its fill from color to gradient and change both color to black color change the type of the gradient to linear from linear to elliptical and change the opacity of the center color to 0% After that, select the rectangle, and choose the gradient tool or press G on your keyboard. Then drag the gradient tool from the flower to the outwards like this. Adjust the gradient so that it looks more realistic. Now this looks beautiful, isn't it? If you learn something from this video, hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video.